characters she's surrounded by. And first impression of her, and also how her character contrasts with all the other characters. So when's the wedding then? Is it too much? The consummate head teacher. I hate having to kiss the backside of the governors. Come on, you know how much you'll hate it if they don't give you the job. Give us the job, Kim. This wonderful management team I've assembled and all the benefits we're bringing to Waterloo Road. Do you have any fans amongst the children? I can't believe I've got to be interviewed by the kids. In my day, the children went to school. They didn't run it. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but Dale Baxter went AWOL again this afternoon. You are joking. God, that's all we need. Uh, right, I'm gonna go and phone the Education Welfare Officer. And say what? Um, that we're dealing with it. We're not, though, are we? The boy hasn't been in school five minutes in the past eight months. It's ludicrous. There is such a thing as school phobia, Andrew. In my day, it was called skiving. Anyway, it's out of our hands now. We'll have to let the police liaison officer know. Well, no! Jack, come on! They'll put Mrs Baxter in prison. She's denying her child an education. To me, that's a serious criminal offence. Sorry, Kim, we're duty-bound. Look, I don't care about being seen to be tough on issues like this. Well said, Jack. Right. We're all laid out and ready to go. See? Told you it looked good. Bring it on. Does help Jack impress the box. It's not going to impress anybody else. Least of all Dale Baxter. <laughs> Sounds like you don't want Jack to get the job. No, of course I want him to get the job. But I just thought this isn't the start of some zero tolerance policy, because we all know how successful that was last time, don't we? Yes, well, if the other choice is Lindsay Woodham, we wouldn't be able to discuss our Dale Baxter's with her. She'd be too busy with a spreadsheet. Well, obviously there are worse types than you, Andrew. She's not an educationalist. Waterloo Road's just a stepping stone. In two years' time, she'll be offered some highly paid management consultancy job. Andrew, I'm not saying that I want Lindsay Woodham to get the job. Then stop rattling Jack. You know what he's like. If he loses confidence, he overcompensates with bombast. Just got to keep him buoyed up and focused. OK, shut up. Making me nervous now. Jack! Just wanted to say good luck from all of us in the staff room. Great, thanks. I'll be rooting for you, sticking pins in me Lindsay Woodham doll. Yep. Yeah, well, she's just about to arrive, so... Could... Oh, new tie. Steph. I would, uh, take the label off if I were you. Don't want to look too eager. <laughs> OK, um, can we get on with this now? See you later. Roger. What a welcoming party. We've, um, set up some cheese and wine in the common room. Nigel, our favourite governor. Hello, Jack. This is Lindsay. Woodham. Welcome to Waterloo Road, Lindsay. Thank you. Nigel's just been telling me all about it. You two know each other? <laughs> Nigel was my husband's best man. Good. The smell coming off, it's enough to knock out a police horse. I want all your stuff moving out, Tom. Well, you've seen Lorna's flat, it's tiny, I can't keep it there. Not planning to move into a spacious apartment then? Now you're a two-wage family again. What, with two people earning two wages, living under one small roof? Meanwhile, me and the kids have to trip over your stuff. Yeah, well, I'll shift it as soon as I can. I just don't want to fork out 30 quid a month on storage, that's all. You didn't have to move to Lorna's, Tom. Yeah. Well, at least she was willing to help me. Well, some kid has some pathetic schoolgirl crush. And my life ends up in a suitcase. You, again. 
I could flame and kill you, I Don't swear me. I could. I can't put up with this anymore. Getting called at work to be told you've done another runner. You promised me. You'd stay at this time. Don't you give a damn about oh, me? Mum, it's not about you. I hate school. And I hate dragging my backside out of bed every day to go and pack shampoo bottles into boxes, but I do it for you. What's happened to you? You used to be a lovely little boy. Yeah, well, I'm not now, OK? Mum, Mum. I'm coming. Don't shoot them. Look. Coming in anyway. Safe walking out for a new door. Please. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. And uh, I'm uh, counting on your support tomorrow. How little packed. I wouldn't count on anything if I were you, Jack. You know what I'm talking about. Roger, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Nigel, will you give my love to Karen? Well, we'll see you both in the morning. Nigel. Good night. It's good to meet you, Jack. It's nice to know what I'm up against. Well, I'm not sure that you do, Lindsay. You know, these schools are pretty scary places. You can't get all your answers out of a filing cabinet. Really? Well, you're on your own. There's no one to hold your hand. I think I know what it takes to be a head. But do you know what it takes to be a head teacher? I'm sure they'll pick the best person for the job. Good luck. Good luck. Well? That Lindsay Woodham wouldn't last two minutes in a bear pit like this. Yeah? Did Aspinall say anything to you? About what? I don't know. I don't trust him, that's all. You were great tonight, thank you. I just don't want to be living with some run-of-the-mill scuzzy teacher now, do I? I've done nothing wrong. Well, what are you taking up for? You've been arrested on failure to attend court. You do not have to say anything. Court? However, may I'm your defence if you do All not the letters you received, Mrs Baxter, about Dale's non-attendance at school. You say, maybe I, I got a couple day. of letters. I didn't think they were serious. You can't lock me up. I, I've got work in the morning. Look, mate, it's me that's not gone to school. What's she done wrong? I wouldn't be in this mess if it weren't for you. I'm trying to sort it out. You're going the wrong way about it. Now sit down and button it. Who are you? I'm Francine, I'm your social worker. Sod off, I don't need you. You're going to have to pack a bag, Dale. Eh? Hey? What are you talking about? I'm going to have to take you to a children's home, I'm afraid, just for a while. This is illegal! <laughs> have you got kids? I put in all the knockbacks, nearly being burnt alive in the office, and they want to go and give it to someone else for the glory. Stop angsting, you'll be great. It's not the presentation I'm worried about. It's all the awkward questions from the kids. I mean, I remember what I was like when I was 15. Just show them a bit of respect. Yeah, it's them that should be respecting me. Morning, Dale. I hope you're ashamed of yourself, making me call the police, what you've done to your mum. You don't care about me or my mum. He's going to try and change his ways, aren't you, Dale? Do you want to look into my room? Can have a little chat? I, um, I don't mean to pry, but, um, Tom told me about last night. Told you what? Oh, it's just like him to dump his stuff, isn't it? You don't need it, cluttering up your house. No, it's not about clutter. It's about moving on, or not, as the case may be. I thought you'd made up your mind. So how long is he going to hang around yours like a bad smell? It's not a bad smell. Seriously, you know he's not. Look, Tom and I are getting along just fine. You don't have to worry. Well, that's great. Yeah, I'm really pleased. I don't think I could have imagined being like this with Tom a year ago. But I think my priorities changing has finally made me grow up. Well, maybe you could give him a few pointers from me. 
Tell him it's not a girlfriend he needs, it's a nanny. What next? Water torture. I'm quite looking forward to it. We're ready for you. Take a seat, Mr. Rimmer. Maybe you can help me try, then. You're under a lot of pressure now, Dale, I know, and that can make us do things the opposite of what we know is right, but you've got to fight it. No, you, your mum's in prison. Well, I'll flaming know that, don't I? Right, then. Can you tell me what it is about school that you are worried about? Are you scared of being bullied? No. Of making a fool of yourself in front of your mates during lessons? No, it just does me head in. What particular part? All of it. Oh, I don't even see the point in school anyway. You don't learn anything. You just have... gets like budging. Less of the language. Well, I learn more on my computer at home. No! See, that's where you're wrong. School can be fun. And it can be exciting and, yeah, it can be hard work, but you get a sense of achievement from it that you don't get sat in your bedroom looking at the web. So what? What do I need to do to make this day as easy as possible for you? Get me mum out. Look, if you can get through today, right, I can say that you've been cooperative. And that'll look really good for your mum when she does go to court. It won't matter what you do. I'll still eat it. Oh, come on. Look, you've got Ms Red Path drama class first thing. I think you'll enjoy no, it. No, I won't. Do you think teachers who can't spell should go on courses? Who says my teachers can't spell? I didn't say they were your teachers. You haven't got the job yet, have you? I mean, it is their free time after all. 10 out of 10 for your observational skills. Yeah. Back to the spelling issue, if you don't mind. I've drawn up a list of teachers who make regular spelling mistakes. Uh, Mr Dawson, chemistry. Are we sure he's got a degree? How do you feel about religious dress, such as the hijab being worn? If you can wear a crucifix, you can wear a hijab. What do you think about the school's uniform? It's supposed to make us equal. Uh, Miss Lamb, Mr Crawford is just appalling. And Ms Haydock. I'll tell you what, why don't you give me that list and I'll give them all two weeks in the cooler. You don't seem to be taking this very seriously. Thinks the best way to deal with bullying. Well, there's, um, there's different types of bullying. There's uh, psychological, verbal, vicarious. You know, you, you have to listen to the victim very carefully and then you have to act. You have to tackle the bullies and confront them with the consequences of what they've done. What do you think about school dinners and all this healthy eating stuff? We're trying to improve the issue of healthy lunches. We're providing more options, more fruit and veg. We've even got Jamie Oliver booked in for next Tuesday. Do you mind the fact that we have a hand in whether you get the headship or end up teaching history again? Well, I wouldn't, uh... I don't mind. I think we've heard enough, Mr Rimmer. If you'd like to make your way to the other panel now, please. Brat. Who? Brett Flaming Aspinall. Who else? Why don't they just appoint him headmaster? Cut out the middleman. Rubbish. He's got it in for me, I swear he has. Don't be paranoid. It's just a kid showing off. If I lose out on this job because of that little. Did the great British public know what flaming hoops we have to jump through to run a school? No wonder one in three positions aren't filled. I'm a great, um. Yeah? That was quite good. Um, Deal. What do you think? Um, I, I think she's waiting too long for her to interrupt her. It, it should be like almost talking over her. 